Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mark the Point. Um, I've got a strategy here that is probably played at every casino you go to, uh, whether it's um, Vegas or Atlantic City, Biloxi. Uh, this system is probably played everywhere you go or even on a cruise somewhere. Um, it is probably the most basic style of play in the craps table. I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, let's get right to it. Okay, so it's going to start off. This is going to be a $10 table. I have a $600 bankroll. I'm actually going to do more, uh, more of a video on the basic of the strategy and how it works versus, versus actual rolling it out as much to see how much it pays. All right, so this is a $10 table. So we're going to start off with a $10 pass line bet. So we're going to place that right there. We're going to get a, get a point established. And let's roll it out. Here we go. All right. Oh, there's a frontline winner. That's great. Okay, so what happens here on the frontline winner is a seven on the come out roll. You actually get paid uh, even odds. So you'll get paid ten dollars. We'll put that in a rack. You can do you can do different things. You can parlay you can parlay it. You can press it. Or in this case, we're just going to rack it. All right, let's get another point. There you go. That's going to be a hard four. That's a hard four. So let's go ahead and place it down here. All right. Now, how that's going to work is you're going to give the dealer again. This is a ten dollar table. We're going to give them uh, twenty two. So you're going to have ten dollars on the six and eight with a, uh, a two dollar cap on each. And then mostly, most of the times they'll put a, um, a odds in the back. In this case, we're going to go with flat odds of ten dollars. Now the odds could be um, variable. It could be a two times, uh, three times, five times odds type style, or it could be up to your preference. Again, stay along to the end of the video. I'm going to kind of give you my my opinion on this. So basically, how this works is: a, you're rolling for a four to roll because of a four you win. And you're also waiting for a six and eight roll. But we're just going to basically do like a half press to kind of get out the hand if we get it. So you want a four to roll or six and eight. All right, let's get it started. All right, there's going to be a five. That's a four, one, five. That's no help to us. Uh, we are not on the five. Again, we're only looking for a four, a six, or an eight. There's a yo 11. That's a six, five, 11. That's also a mid mochiro. And there's another five. That's a that's a four one five, which is a no field five. Again, looking for those either one of those three numbers. There's, that's perfect. There's a four. All right. So how that works is you're going to get paid even odds on your pass line, and you'll get paid two to one on the back line. So all this is going to come back to your rack. So let's go and rack it up. Perfect. Let's turn the point off, and there we go. Let's get another point established. Oh, that's a seven. That's another frontline winner. Here we go. That's a seven. So again, we're going to pay even even odds. And we're going to just go and rack it up. Go, shooter. Again, if you want that seven to roll, you always want to roll it on the come out. Otherwise, you will lose. All right, that's an eight. So that's our point. Our point is on the eight. All right. So again, we'll score odds in the back. We're going to, again, we're only doing ten uh, a ten dollar odds. From my experience at being at casinos. People would usually don't go the max odds. People usually put from from what I this is only opinion, but for what I've seen, people typically just match their their pass line bet. Sometimes you'll see people go up to a quarter in the back or a little bit higher. But most of the time, if it's a ten dollar table, they do ten dime ten dollars. If it's a fifteen dollar table, a lot of times they'll do it at fifteen dollars. But um, again, stay to the end. You're gonna hear my opinion on that. All right, here we go. We're looking for a six or an eight. Uh, actually, you know what? There's, I just want to mention here real quick. Because you are covered here, I didn't catch this the first time before I rolled. Because you're covered right here, we're actually going to move this number down, and we're only going to play the 6 and 8 for now. So, so you're only looking for two numbers. We're looking for a point and 6 and 8. In this case, we got the point covered. We could move it over to the 9 if we wanted to, but we're just going to stick with a point and a number for this one. Uh, and there's a 7. I'm glad we kind of pulled a little bit down because we would have lost it all. So all of this is going to come back. So we lose everything here. All right, let's turn the point off. Let's get another one established. Uh, let's get our let's get our baseline bet down. That's our ten dollar bet. All right, let's go, shooter. Oh, there's another. Wow, there's another frontline winner, guys. Wow, that's three of them now. That works great. So let's uh, put a fifteen dollar bet here. Sorry, that's not a fifteen dollar bet. Let's try that again. Let's put a, a ten dollar here and uh, and go back to your rack. What do we have here as a four? That's a hard four. It's also known as the uh, the ballerina, the two two. All right, so how that works? We're gonna put, we're gonna drop the dealer twenty two dollars. So that's here and here, and then we're gonna put down ten dollars for our odds in the back. So that's gonna go back there, 
and the dealer will set you up here. Now, typically, uh, you're actually going to put that money um, into the into the location right here, right in front of you. Wherever you're at, you're going to put that money directly in front of you. That way, that way the dealer knows um, where it comes from. All right, here we go. Let's get it going. Let's go, shooter. There's a 12. That's a box cars 12. That's a midnight. And there's an eight. Okay, that's great. So again, I think I think we're gonna do a half press type style. Uh, so um, twelve dollars pays fourteen. So what we'll do is we'll pay you out fourteen, and then we're gonna do a half press. We we'll put. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this content. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, and make sure your notification button is turned on. The channel has been growing all because of you. I put out content like this every single week. Please make sure you're up to date. Make sure you hit subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching. Let's continue with the video. There's a seven. All right, we got to snipe that one. Here we go. So we uh, we pull all this back. We lose all this. Pull all this back and get ready for a new hand. So again, we're gonna drop down ten dollars, ten dollars again in the um, in the pass line. Turn the point off. All right, let's go, shooter. It's gonna be down there a ten. So so just want to give you a, a little bit of heads up. That's if you're playing this system. Typically, you do not want your points on the inside because you're using wasted rolls. You want your points to be on the outside here. Um, in this case, we are only playing uh, three numbers. We're playing the six, we're playing the eight, and we're playing the uh, the point. So I guess it really doesn't matter because we're going to get paid regardless. All right, but if you're not playing the pass line, it does not help you much to have an inside, uh, inside point. All right, here we go. All right, that's a 516. That's great. So a 516, a $12 bet, pays $14. So we'll tell them to press us one unit. So that's going to take us up to an $18 bet. Put all this into your rack. All right, let's go to shooter. Oh, there's a Yo 11. That's a mid Mochiro. And there's an 8. That's great. That's an easy 8, a 628. Uh, that's going to begin paying another $14. We're going to tell them to press this up one unit, so it makes an $18 bet. So, yeah, we have two $18 bets, and then, of course, we have our 10 that we're waiting for as well. So, on this one right here, you're, again, the reason why I said that while ago is you're waiting on that 10 to roll as your other as your third number, which is a very hard number to hit, right? Your 4 and 10, least common numbers. That's why on this system, you'd rather it be on the inside because you're only paying the pass line. If you're not playing the pass line, you typically want your points to be the 4 and 10. So just give you a, a little bit of a knowledge there. Oh, there's a hard eight. That is the dots in all the corner spots. All right, so eight, that's an $18 bet. 18 page 21. So we're going to pay it out right here. Again, we're going to go up one more unit. That's going to be a $24 bet. And, uh, and the rest of this is going to go back to the rack. We're still down a little bit. We started with $600. I can tell we're down, down some, not much. There's a Yo 11. That's another mid mode Euro. And there's a crap three. That's a one, two, three. Looking for a six, an eight, or a ten. There's a hard six. So a hard six is going to pay. Uh, that's an eighteen dollar bet. Eighteen dollar bet pays twenty one. So we're going to do the same thing we just did. We're going to press it up one unit, which is six dollars in this case. And so now you have a twenty four dollar bet. And put the rest of it back into the rack. All right, let's go. Cool. You doing all right right now? What do we have here? Oh, that was a seven. I shouldn't have said it. I shouldn't have said we're doing all right. All right, so we're going to lose this. We're going to lose everything here. All this comes back to your rack. And let's get another point established. So turn this off. We did not hit our point. Again, this is your most basic system. It's played at probably any casino. Um, any, anything you go to, it's, a, it's, it's a, a point, and it's playing two numbers, which is typically your most common two numbers. All right, it's going to be another 10. Down there on the end, that's going to be our point. Again, not the best point to have. All right. All right, so we're going to drop down 10 to the dealer, or 10 to behind your odds, and then we're going to drop down $22 to the dealer. So we'll just like this right here. 10, and then our cap, which is $12. You can go up as high as you want to here. I don't have to be at $12. Um, this is just for our minimum $10 table. Oh, let's mark our point. Mark our point on the 10. All right, there we go. Uh, there's an eight. Okay, that's an easy eight. Let's just do it one more time. Again, I just want to kind of give an idea of, of the system. Um, that's going to pay $14. So 10 pays 14. We're going to press it up 
Um, let's press it up one full unit and write the rest. And there's a, there's a six, that's a uh, 426. So a six is gonna pay, again, $14. So we're gonna press it up one unit. Oop. Press it up one unit and the rest is gonna go back. Looking for that, looking for that 10. We haven't had it, we haven't had it too easy on the on the uh, on the hitting the points yet, really. And there's an eight, there's a nine. That's a two nines back to back. And there's a four. Uh, we need to go to the other side of it. That's little Joe. Uh, there's another four. That's a hard four this time. Uh, there's a 10. That's great. Finally, we finally got another hit there. Uh, so that's a 10. So again, we're going to pay uh, $10 for the flat bet. And then we're going to pay um, $20 for each side of there, which is a two to one. And all this is going to come back to your rack. That's great. Let's turn the point off. That helps us out a lot. And uh, let's get one more point established. This will be the last roll. Uh, there's a box of cars 12. So that's midnight. All right. So what happens here is we will lose our pass line. Okay. So we'll lose that. And then we'll put out how to put another pass line out. There we go. And there's an eight. That's great. That's a six to eight. Oh, it's not a six to eight. That is a hard eight. So a hard eight. So again, we are going to put drop down ten dollars from the back. And because you've already got it covered here, um, let's do it this time. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and cover the nine. Now, now that we moved into the nine, we can actually take our three dollars back. We don't need our three dollars. So we're just gonna play at the fifteen dollar level. All right, there's an eight. Uh, that's a winner. That's a pass line winner. All right, so eight's going to pay, again, $10 for the flat bet up here up front. And how the caps work is we're going to get paid um, even here and then $2 on the back. So, again, for if you, if you don't know the payout, for a $10 bet, you, every red gets a red and every red gets a white. So, in this case, it will be a, 12, uh, a $12 payout for that $10 bet. All right, all this is going to come back to your rack. So this comes back, let's place it in. And we are finally back in profit, uh, which is great. Turn the point off. There's a nine, that's a, uh, a six, three nine. So the point's gonna be on the nine, and then uh, we'll go ahead and drop our $10 for the, for the odds in the back. And then we can go ahead and pull this back to the eight. That's a $15 bet, so we're gonna need to drop three ones for the caps. And we're ready to roll it out. There's a seven. All right, that's okay. Uh, that is a seven, a six one seven. So we lose everything here. Lose all this. And we're just gonna call it a day. So again, I'm, I'm just gonna be kind of easy to, to, to count up because I know that's 500. This is a, uh, this is 95. One, two, three, four, five, that's 100. So that's our, that was our buy-in basically. This right here is our buy-in. So we made. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> we made eight bucks, guys. Uh, that's okay. We were down. We had to get a couple points. Again, this is your basic strategy. You don't expect it to go too crazy. Okay, guys. I want to give you why I do not like this system. Um, first of all, I do not like playing the pass line uh, because unless I'm the shooter when it's mandatory, that's the only time I'll play this pass line. This is not an ideal bet except for on the come out roll. We did hit a couple of those today, so that was good. But in most, in most cases, once you hit your point, let's just say if you hit a point of nine, now you are no longer at the advantage. And not only are you not only at the advantage, you got odds behind it. Um, you're, you're actually wasting money putting it up here when you could put all that money on the nine here and it pays better. Um, just, just my opinion, I do not like playing the point. Um, I think it's, it's a wasted, it's a wasted um, bet. Regardless of what the casinos will tell you, they will never tell you the best way to play it. They will always tell you to pay the pass line. All right, guys, that's my opinion on it. Um, again, just a grinding system, nothing flattering about it, uh, but just playing the pass line uh, with a six and eight bet. Very simple, very basic, but it's for your entry level craps player. All right, guys, until next time, mark the point and stay awesome.